Whitley just dropped her album. I'm so fucking hyped. Russ dropped a song yesterday. Dude, it's like, it's it's a blessing. Dude. I love Billy. I love her music. I'm gonna go hop in the shower real fast, but that's, uh, this is my washer, by the way. Um, but, uh, yeah, hop in the shower, and then we'll be back to it. So, uh, I got the video idea. We're gonna talk about why our generation, what generation are we? What generation am I? I think I'm Gen Z, Gen L, Gen R. It's so confusing at this point. Uh, I'm Gen Z. I think I'm Gen Z. So a millennial is anyone who's in their like 20, 20s, I think. 25 maybe, 20s around there. Right now are people that are 13 to 23, so I'm Gen Z. And millennials are yeah, 24 to 38, so. Yeah, your mom's, your dad's, kind of like that. And then I'm, I'm uh, Gen Z. <laughs> why are we so fucked up? Like, why is why is our generation so messed? And I think I know why. It's funny because like this idea was totally, totally original. No one gave me this idea. Um, so I'm not, no. so wh why why is our generation so fucked? I think I know the answer. And for that, we're gonna have to take. A look at a few things. Let's take a step back actually. So back in the 1980s to the 2000s, like just like around that generation, growing up, right, till the 2000s, they believe in working hard, right? Because obviously like you work hard, you get results. And I, I agree with that. But with technology and with, um, and with new, and with, with just smarter people in general, let's, let's be honest, like our generation is smarter than the past generation. Science has proved it, so. Screw everyone who says we aren't. Um, our generation believes in like working smarter, not not harder. Um, obviously, you can work hard, but there's different ways of getting there that we know now. Instead of just you know beating that shit barehanded, you can beat that shit with a tool you made. You know what I mean? Like just working hard. Or, sorry, working smarter than harder. Um, but along the way, I'm gonna play some games here while we're talking because I, I can focus a lot better. It's weird, right? I know, my ADHD needs something to fucking grasp on. We're not the Fortnite kids, just, just to get that out the way. The Fortnite kids are in their own little classified section that no one ever wants to talk about and I hope stays classified for a long time because those kids are just on a whole, on a whole nother plane and it, and it, it's just, and it's just terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. Um, the only difference with our generation to the past generations is just the fact that we, that I would say, obviously, we aren't as hardworking as the last generation, as other, as older people are. Though some of us are hardworking, and though we should be, right? But like, let's be honest, we're not as hardworking as they, as people used to be. So that's not a bad thing because we got no med kits. Oh shit! Did I not grab that syringe? Our generation is we're pretty normal. Um, aside from the music and shit that we listen to. First of all, I'm not one of those kids that listen to fucking Comethazine and Trippy Red. They're dope artists, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'd rather choose Trippy Red over Comethazine. But like, you know, shit like that. Besides besides all that, um, we're, we're, we're a good generation because we're, you know, we're growing up in a time of like fucking, well, like they just, they just fucking cured AIDS for this one dude a few weeks ago. I don't know if the scientist was a millennial um, or, sorry, no, honestly, what the fuck am I talking about? Let's be real, our fucking generation's fine, okay? We're not fucked in the head, we're not, we're fucking normal, we're good. Like, our generation's fucking, we're, we're G, we're great. Everything is is based on technology, right? People can hate it, people can love it, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have to fucking adapt to it because everything you fucking do is, is linked to technology. Sure, people can say that we're addicted to technology, but the, at the end of the day, like I said, 99% of things will be linked to technology in the next few years. Cars driving by themselves and blah, blah, blah. And all, you know what I mean? All that stuff, right? It all links to technology eventually. So, you know, to say that we're addicted to, to technology is just, it's just stupid because, well, I mean, you guys would be addicted to it too if you had it back then. Like, let's, let's be 100% real. But I think like it's this like alien, like, you know, you can't use technology because it does this to you. And if you're, addicted to it then you're fucking then you're then you're bad like shut the fuck up it's fucking it's technology man like you fucking you'd love it if you guys had it back then you had it like we had it back then at least um and they fucking were addicted to it everybody was addicted to a computer when they when they got their hands on it everybody was addicted to it and like 
when everything's on the internet 24 7 twitter like your news everything's based on the internet the weather like you just get all that shit on the internet and when you can talk to people through the internet it kind of becomes second nature to want to use the internet all the time so like people just gotta shut the fuck up <laughs> like the old people honestly at this point don't really know what they're talking about uh so but that's okay i don't i don't blame them i mean if i was in their place i probably wouldn't understand technology too but then again i'm not and i'm glad i'm not so yeah that's pretty simple in fact um and i feel like whenever <laughs> whenever an old dude sees a kid especially younger kids addicted to tech they seem to think that all kids are addicted to tech like they they see one little kid on his ipad 24 7 and then they think every every kid and every single teenager is addicted to technology because they see them on their phone once or twice so i don't know again it's just it's just how you really perceive that shit but like at the same time dude i don't really give a fuck people can think what they want to think and i don't really know it's it's it is pretty interesting though for me at least to like think help or to see where people come from and and how their perspectives are on us because like let's be real it's totally fucking it's totally out of whack it's totally out of whack but like it's all good what are you gonna do right not much you can do when they're all uh up in your grill and yeah. It's all G, homie. Five infographics on the Gen Z lifestyle. So, like, what Gen Zs do, basically. Um, let's find it out. Because, like, I, I bet you it's 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 ridiculous. Um, one of those is going to be, like, oh, we're all on our phones and some bullshit like that. I mean, that's true, but, like, come on. Like, yeah, I'm going to lie. Like, let's talk some facts, okay? A lot of people are on their phones, and it's a little fucky because, like, you know, a lot of people would, r would rather fucking talk to you through a fucking phone now then hit you up in a like, oh, dude like to think that like people would actually walk it's gonna sound really fucking stupid but like actually think about it if you're if you're in my fucking position here think that people would actually go outside without a phone and like knock on someone's door tell them to hang it's just crazy because let's be real a girl a girl you'll ask for a girl snap um she'll ask you for her snap and then you guys talk online and then you guys meet up but these guys had to meet face to face the beginning like there was no like instagram to see what they looked like beforehand it was just straight up just like, boom, like, hey, I like you. Even though, yeah, like, it makes it makes sense, right, obviously. But, like, you gotta admit, it's a little fucking wild. Because, like, I'm gonna be fucking honest, like, at times... Oh, I got the kill. Dope. Oh, grenade. Where the fuck did that come from? Ooh, barrel. Me. No. Yeah, I fucking did it. But yeah, like, yo, it's not, okay, listen, so, let's be real, um, I would say, you guys can fucking be honest with me, I don't know, you guys can, hold on, I cannot talk, man, I fucking, you know what I'm talking about when I say this, but, the reason, like, why I would say our generation doesn't want to go outside and, like, talk to people is because, like, technology kind of forced us to be like this, so let's be 100% honest here. Um, so yeah, tech kind of forced us to be the way we are and like, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not our fault because let's be real. If tech hadn't have come out, we would, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be, you know, so addicted to our phones, but like, that's the sad reality of the truth. And like, you know, what the fuck can we do about that? Not, we didn't fucking make tech. We just use it. And like, 
Yeah, that's the whole fucking goal anyway, is to get us fucking hooked on it, right? So, what are you gonna do, all right? Let me just take some the range out of here. Fucking burn out. Nice. Popping this rage, man. But yeah, so like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Um, we didn't make tech. like that in, in like 10 minutes holy crap that was the fastest game i've ever played in my life did i record that i really fucking hope i recorded that i got five kills not too bad um that was the fastest game i was i was popping off everyone with the wingman god damn but yeah so our generation is not fucked up okay if anyone says our generation is fucked up they're fucking bullshitters they don't know what the fuck they're talking about tell them to shut the fuck up and look themselves in the mirror because our generation is the exact same as theirs except we're fucking younger and we got technology that's the only fucking difference but I totally fucking forgot to read this fucking infographic shit. Let me fucking read this. So, okay, number one, their media consumption habits differ from previous generations, even millennials. Oh, okay, let me see this. In 2015, Vision Critical conducted, and I guess I'm so fucking surprised we won that shit. Like, I, I thought we, I still we still had like five more teams to go. We wiped out like three squads. That was nice. But the randoms, too. They're actually pretty cheap. Okay, here we go. So, to summarize this, and you can kind of have your take on this. I want to hear what you have to say in the comments, um, if anything. Um, we prefer cool products over cool experiences. So we'd rather have, you know, a, cool, a phone than, or the, the next new iPhone, than, than go out and like skydive. Which is kind of true. Like, but the only reason it's true is because the way Apple fucking promotes this shit and markets it. Like, let's be real. They fucking make their phones look all fucking nice and beautiful. You want to buy this shit, and then, and then you buy a new one in two years because they slow it down. Like, they, they got a point. We do want devices and, like, items and shit, products over experiences. But that's only because, like, I don't know. The way they market shit, they just make it seem like you have to have it. And that's consumers, and that's fine. But, like, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I guess, I guess... I mean, I, if, dude, for me personally, if I could choose skydiving or a new fucking phone, I want to choose skydiving, but I also want to choose a phone because that's going to stay with me. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I want to go skydiving too, cause I'm, but like, you know, you see this fucking takeaway, it's hard. I, I mean, if they're cool products, like it says, then yeah. I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's hard because shit, that shit sticks with you. And like, you know, for one, skydiving is fucking dangerous, but look. Still, I think it's fucking dope. I'll do it any day. Um, okay, besides that, that's really all this. And another thing is it says that we're hooked on, like, watching viral videos, which, I mean, it's true, but, like, like I don't know, fucking know. The whole fucking, like, watching a cat, you know, fucking roll around or whatever, it's just fucking dead. Like, who the fuck actually watches cats? I don't know. <laughs> I've watched a few cats in my time. It's pretty fucking stupid. You know, but you sit for fucking 30 seconds of your life watching a cat video but like i don't know life's life man just just live it how you want to live it don't really care what anyone else says but yeah uh anyway that's that i hope you liked the video i'll catch you guys in the next one new videos coming soon damn i'm still fucking hyped we got that win uh yeah anyway my name is i'll catch you guys next video peace out when's the next video that's a good question thanks for asking um it will be hey siri set a date in my calendar 
three days from now to make a new video. There we go. April 1st. I'll drop it on it. Will I drop it April 1st? April 2nd. All right. See you. Peace out. Oh, shit. Um, I never fucking ask for likes. I never really do it ever. And then I just gain likes. All right, I just gain subs and likes. It's pretty fucking magical. And I don't really like to beg for fucking stuff. So um, this guy's already dying. So I appreciate it. But yeah, so if you like the video, consider liking it. I like to see if you guys like it or not. Um, I like to see subscribers. I don't know. Subscriptions over likes. I don't know why people ask for likes. Like, I, I don't understand. I'd rather ask for subscribers because, you know, just fucking that's legitimately how you grow. So if you guys like the video, consider dropping a like. You don't have to. If you didn't like it, dislike it. That's okay with me. All feedback is good feedback. And if you really want to follow me and like, you like what I have to, I have to talk about. By the way, this isn't all my content. This is just like a late night video that I had to dish out. And I didn't have to, but yeah, uh, this isn't this isn't my daily content. I just fucking have to just show the video, and like it's about time. So yeah. Anyway, um, hope you guys like the video. My name's Denzel, and if you like if you like if you like me, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.